So before I came back to the studio, I took a uh, scale that measures in grams. I measured 14 grams of eggshell. Instead of doing one eggshell and a half a cup of vinegar, I'm going to do two eggshells, which is the equivalent to 14 grams. So we're going to put our eggshells in this mason jar. Then we are going to measure out one cup of vinegar. And it doesn't matter what type of vinegar you use. If you have plain white distilled vinegar, that's fine. That's what I'm using here. But if you have apple cider vinegar, it's going to work just the same. So just don't make a special trip to get vinegar. If you've got some type of vinegar in the house, it'll work. So we've got our 14 grams of eggshell. We're going to put one cup of vinegar in here because you can see the calcium moving up and down in the vinegar here. So it's moving up and down in solution. You can see CO2 gas being released. We do not want to put a lid on this. It's not good. Uh, you can have a lot of pressure build up here and it, the glass may shatter. So what I like to do is get something that can breathe. We're going to put a paper towel over the top of this. And this smells like vinegar. I don't want it in the house. So what I'm going to do is stick it in the garage for several days. And so we're just going to put a rubber band over the top of this to hold this paper towel. That allows the CO2 gas to escape. And so vinegar has a tendency to attract fruit flies and I don't want those in the house. Okay, so it's been about a week since we have created our solution here. And it's, it's fully dissolved. You want your solution to look like the consistency of maybe um, not even milk. It's not even that thick. A very thin milk, maybe like a cheap off-brand skim milk might be the, the consistency that we're, we're looking for here. But what we need to do is remove our paper towel and rubber band. What I'm going to do, I need... Just one ounce of this. That's all we need. A little bit goes a long way here. And so I'm going to slowly pour one ounce of fluid into my measuring cup. We're going to take one ounce of our calcium solution. And I have a one gallon jug that I use exclusively for this. So it says CA plus H2O, calcium plus water. And we are going to take our one ounce of solution, add it to our water. I'm going to put the lid on it, give it a little shake so it's a homogenous solution.